Now, Channel 3, Early Warning Weather. Well, on this last day of September, there was an October chill in the air. The high temperature of around 63 or 64 in the uh, greater Hartford area. That's what you would normally expect right around the middle part of October. And you notice that in the northeastern part of the state and the western part of the state, temperatures never got out of the 50s today. So even uh, though we're ending the month on a cool note, uh, September will go into the record books as a milder month for the greater Hartford area with an average temperature of 66.1. That's 1.3 degrees above normal. Precipitation 6.81 inches. It was a wet month. That's a surplus of 2.42 inches for the Hartford area. The 17th wettest September on record, but as Mark said in the last hour, Bridgeport, with over eight inches of rain, had their second wettest September on record. Hurdle warning pinpoint Doppler shows a couple of very light rain showers in the northwestern hills. An overcast sky over Hartford, 60 degrees there. Northerly wind adding to the chill. You could see that breeze and the flag in uh, New Haven, and a mainly cloudy sky, 63 degrees there. Got 57 in Waterbury, Torrington, and Salisbury. It's 58 in Willamette. 60 in the Hartford area and we're looking at temperatures that are on the chilly side across all the northeast. Notice the mild air has been displaced well to our south where Washington is currently at 74. But you see that area of a darker blue that's Mount Washington currently 28 degrees with a wind chill of 12. Certainly not a day to be climbing Mount Washington. All right as far as uh, Sam goes, it's still a major hurricane with winds of 145 miles an hour. It's going to be tracking to the east of Bermuda and then well to the east of New England over the weekend, stirring up some rough surf, but that's about it. Otherwise, no impact on our weather. So we got a couple of showers moving into the northwest hills now. Uh, the bulk of the showers are off to the north and east of Connecticut as this pool of cold air rotates southward across New England, but that's going to be lifting away tonight and tomorrow, and that's going to allow temperatures to moderate as we go into the weekend. So future cash shows clearing skies as we go through tonight. Tomorrow morning, bright and sunny, a really nice start to October, although it's going to be chilly. Mostly sunny skies throughout the day. Then as we go into Saturday, as that cold air begins to lift away, partly to mostly sunny skies and temperatures on the first uh, weekend of uh, October are actually going to make their way, <clears throat> excuse me, into the, uh, the 70s. But tonight, it's going to be pretty chilly. Upper 30s and 40s and your highs for tomorrow in the mid to upper 60s. But we're forecasting 74 on Saturday and 72 on Sunday. Now, there could be some late day showers Sunday, but the rain could hold off until Sunday night and Monday. Monday and Tuesday look wet with rain and drizzle at times. Highs in the 60s, then a lot of clouds around Wednesday and Thursday with highs in the 60s to near 70. And for the shoreline, 68 tomorrow but 70 or higher over the first weekend of October. Okay, boy, October's here. Thank you, Bruce, very there much. There we go.